Hey there, movie enthusiasts. Today, let's dive into the 1960 film, The Story of Ruth. No fancy words here, just a straightforward intro. This biblical drama unfolds with Ruth, a Moabite widow, navigating love, faith, and a journey of self-discovery. Now, here's the hook, stay tuned, because there are funny, shocking, and sad facts awaiting you in this video. Have you ever found yourself deeply affected by a particular scene or moment in this classic? Or maybe this film has left an imprint on your life. We're curious to know, so drop your thoughts in the comment entrance below. Before we wrap up, share with us your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comment entrance below. So buckle up for a trip down memory lane with the story of Ruth. Get ready for some surprises. Imagine this, it's 1960, and people worldwide are captivated by a great movie, The Story of Ruth. It tells the tale of Ruth, a widow from Moab, navigating love, faith, and self-discovery. Set in ancient times, the story connects with viewers, drawing them into its world of emotions. The movie's importance lies in its timeless themes that still matter today. As you watch, you'll feel a range of emotions from joy to surprise to tears. Whether it's your first time or a beloved memory, the story of Ruth leaves a lasting impression on audiences of all ages. So sit back, relax, and get ready for an unforgettable experience. In 1972, he secured an award for his outstanding performance in a play named Henry Roman IV, Part I, staged in Los Angeles, California. This accomplishment marked a pivotal moment in his career, showcasing his talent and dedication to the craft. Despite this success, he faced disappointments on other fronts. A near miss with a role in the popular TV show Maverick left him grappling with what could have been. Similarly, he found himself on the verge of starring in the movie The Land That Time Forgot, only to be replaced at the last moment. These instances shed light on the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry and prompt reflection on the paths not taken. Such twists of fate invite speculation about the alternate trajectories his career might have followed. It's a reminder that success in Hollywood often hinges on a delicate balance of talent, timing, and luck. Welcome back to our exploration of the movie, The Story of Ruth, a 1960 film that holds historical significance. Here's an interesting fact it marked Victor Buono's first appearance in a movie. Little did we know that this humble beginning would lead to him being nominated for an Academy Award in the future. Buono's role as the Moabite priest adds depth to the film. His sharp eye notices a blemish on Ruth's arm, leading to a confrontation with the High Priestess. This role became a stepping stone for Buono, setting the stage for his later recognition in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, where he earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. In an interesting twist, Buono, from 1961 to 1963, became the father-in-law of Jack Carson. Carson, in turn, was married to Sandra Jolly, who happened to be Stan's daughter. The connections in Hollywood add an intriguing layer to Buono's life beyond the big screen. Looking at Buono's later career, we find an unexpected source of inspiration. The era 11 novel Rosemary's Baby Buono, inspired by this horror tale, wrote his own novel The Other, which quickly became a bestseller. This shows Buono's versatility, transitioning from acting to writing. As we explore the fascinating details surrounding the movie The Story of Ruth and Victor Buono's early career, it's a reminder that Hollywood is filled with unexpected connections and diverse talents. The debut of a film can have far-reaching effects, shaping careers, and leaving a lasting legacy. So there you have it, a glimpse into the lesser known aspects of the movie, the story of Ruth and Victor Buono's journey. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of cinema. The story of Ruth, a 1960 film, unfolds the narrative of a Moabite widow navigating love, faith, and self-discovery amidst ancient settings. Interestingly, Christopher Siegel Tabori, born in 1952, was considered for a role in Psycho alongside notable actors like Cliff Robertson, Robert Loggia, and Tom Tryon, though John Gavin ultimately secured the part. Despite initial setbacks, Tabori gained recognition for his involvement in cult films, which, alongside his dated radio programs, contributed significantly to his legacy. In the 1960s, there was a notable film called The Story of Ruth. It's about a Moabite widow named Ruth and her journey through love, faith, and self-discovery in ancient times. Even though it's an old story, it still connects with people today, making them feel all sorts of emotions as they watch. Victor Buono, who acted in Batman and the Wild Wild West, started his career in this movie as a Moabite priest. 
Later, he became famous and even got nominated for an Academy Award. Biono had connections in Hollywood, which helped him in his career. The movie gave him and other new actors a chance to show their skills. It shows how the entertainment industry can be unpredictable with unexpected opportunities for newcomers. When people watch this classic, they remember how Hollywood brings together different talents. The story of Ruth from 1960 gained widespread attention on television talk shows, particularly The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. A special rendition of Fat Man's Prayer by a comedian garnered significant sales, boosting the album's popularity. Meanwhile, the film's costumes, designed by Vittorio Nino Novaris, showcased vibrant colors representing Moabite culture. The producer, Samuel G. Angel, introduced Alana Eden, the lead actress, chosen from a pool of talented performers. Eden's portrayal of Ruth, coupled with her natural qualities, earned her the coveted role. These behind-the-scenes glimpses shed light on the film's production and the talent involved, enriching the viewer's understanding of its historical significance and cultural impact. The casting process for the lead role in the story of Ruth involved several actresses vying for the part, including Susan Strasberg, Susan Conner, Tina Louise, and others. Ultimately, Ilana Eden, formerly known as Ilana Cooper, secured the role and portrayed Ruth. Additionally, a Yugoslav-born character actor known for his ethnic roles in 40s and 50s Hollywood films contributed to the movie. Peggy Wood took on the role of Naomi after it was offered to Helen Hayes and Irene Dunn. These casting decisions shaped the ensemble of the film, adding depth and authenticity to the characters' portrayals. The behind-the-scenes dynamics of casting reveal the meticulous process of assembling the cast for this biblical drama, contributing to its overall impact and resonance with audiences. The 1960 film The Story of Ruth tells a touching story about a widow named Ruth from Moab. It's set in ancient times and explores themes like love, faith, and discovering oneself. One interesting thing is that John Banner, who played Sergeant Schultz in Hogan's Heroes, had a Jewish background which adds a twist to his role. Also, Banner was related to Forrest Tucker and Sandra Jolly, which shows connections in Hollywood. Another point is that Christopher Tabori's mother was involved in the film, connecting personal and professional lives in the entertainment industry. These insights about the people involved make the movie more interesting to understand. The Story of Ruth, a film from the 1960s, captivated audiences with its timeless tale of love, faith, and self-discovery. This biblical drama follows Ruth, a widow from Moab, as she navigates the challenges of her time. Interestingly, the film's lead actress, Alana Eden, was selected from a pool of talented performers, showcasing her natural qualities in bringing Ruth to life on the screen. Behind the scenes, the casting process involved several actresses vying for the lead role, including Susan Strasberg, Susan Conner, and Tina Louise, highlighting the meticulous effort in assembling the ensemble cast. Notably, Peggy Wood took on the role of Naomi, adding depth and authenticity to the character's portrayals. John Banner, known for his role as Sergeant Schultz in Hogan's Heroes, brought a unique perspective to his character, considering his Jewish background. Additionally, Christopher Tabori's mother's involvement in the film adds a personal connection to the entertainment industry, enriching the audience's understanding of the people behind the scenes. These insights into the casting process and the personal connections of the cast members add layers of complexity to the narrative, enhancing the viewer's appreciation for the story of Ruth and its cultural impact on Hollywood.